Hello everyone and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today we're not flying much, yeah, well we're flying here but that's it. <laughs> uh, we're overclocking. Today we're gonna overclock using our uh, MSI Afterburner. Uh, we're flying in Australia here because the scenery is not changing much. So I'm hoping for a stable uh, FPS. Uh, first we wanna go to general options. Uh, developers mode, switch on developer mode and then uh, this top bar will become available and you can select display FPS so what we're getting here is about let's say a stable I want to close down some additional applications to get the most I uh, want to exit this one just right just something like this so we are at uh, our standard uh, settings in MSI Afterburner. Yes, MSI Afterburner you can also use on different GPU brands. And yes, it's safe to use as well. Um, so we're on our default settings somewhere. Which we can make sure that we are now. Zero, zero, hit apply. So this is our standard uh, memory. We're at the RTX 2060. We cannot increase the core voltage, which is pity, because uh, you can uh, achieve more with this one. Uh, and you can bump it up to maximum if you want. Um, if you're reaching a limit, the uh, simulators, uh, flight simulator will just simply crash. And uh, you can uh, the settings will go back and you can restart over again. Um, <coughs> so we're at the 58, 57. And what you want to do here is... <coughs> uh, keep an eye on your temperature, you want your temperature to be uh, below 80 degrees, so we're fine here. And I'm going to show you guys the limit uh, I had until I, I crashed. So this is like my stable limit, actually this one is 220. was stable. Uh, so notice we're, we're at about 58. I'm going to hit apply on this one. Uh, it jumps up. And so do the FPS. So we're not up by like 10 FPS or something, or like any crazy numbers, uh, but we're clearly gaining FPS here. Um, <coughs> so this was the this was the best settings I, I could achieve, uh, let's say, uh, before running into trouble and, and uh, unstable FPS. Um, one thing to notice is, I'm gonna explain in a second here how to adjust these uh, and how to achieve the best. Uh, one thing to uh, to keep an eye on is keep monitoring your uh, uh, GPU temperature, especially in those longer flights. You want to keep it below 80 degrees, so make sure you're below 80. Uh, what I normally do is when I'm taken off, I'm having a long flight like this, I bring it back to uh, to default. So let's save this again on number two here. So we're going. Okay, so number two was our default. <laughs> so we're bringing this back to zeros and zeros. Uh, we're about 61, 62, we're going to hit apply here, our uh, memory uh, will drop, and so does our FPS, we're at 56, 57 now, so still okay, but it's still, it, it is a few FPS. So we're in our longer flight, Fifth, like this amount of FPS is enough, uh, and we have nothing coming up, so uh, it will not drop more. Uh, we're approaching our airport, for example, <coughs> and we want to bring this one up to get some more FPS. And here we go, got these few additionals. It's not much, I know, but uh, this is in my case, uh, my scenario it's not so much, uh, but for some people it might be. So a good, a good beginner, a beginning uh, value here will be like 100 on this one, and 100 on this one as well. Uh, excuse me, 300, you can start off with this one easily. So we here we are, 58. Uh, sometimes it's blinking green real quick you can increase this one by 10 and this one by 25 so we go to 110 here and this one 325 hit enter when you change the value and there we go and we're going to trim the plane a little bit up since we're getting quite low here um, so again increase to 120 and 350 hit enter again and there we go 
So we're getting 59 already here, more than we used to have it. We bring it up to 130. 75 hit enter and apply notes this one will change right away so there we go <coughs> so this is how you slowly but steadily go up in uh, values and also in FPS slowly slowly increasing we have to get a little bit higher here because it's getting a little bit lower all right so here we go Keeping an eye on the temperature, which is 72, that's still fine. So, let's bring it up again. Okay, I have to trim it a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, something like this. Yeah, a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. So, let's. Um, <coughs> when I was increasing it, this one, this one was uh, causing the limit, and it simply crashed. So it stopped, uh, said uh, your GPU, uh, blah, 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 something, it crashed, okay. So I went back to my latest values, um, to 2700, hit accept here. And here we are, got this final one or two FPS. Um, looking out the window, moving around a little bit. We're staying in the 63, 60. Barely showing 59. So we bring it back to zeros. Bring it back to zeros. So here you go, guys. Uh, the setting I got somehow. Uh, most likely I hit something uh, incorrect. We're still at 77. So we hit OK. The game simply closes down, and we can apply our zero values. So we know what our what's our limit. Uh, in this case scenario it's to 2700 and the temperature stays stable as well uh, in the long run as well i tested it before it stays under 80 degrees but you want to keep monitoring that so uh, here you go you see simply what's happening if you go too crazy on it uh, that's all um so uh, yeah just try see if you get any uh, any improvement um overclocking if it's only changing like one or two fps i think it's not worth going in it but like me, I got like from 56, uh, 55 up to 62. And when getting closer to busy airports, especially it was, uh, it was uh, much better. So I'm gonna leave my mine uh, at zero again. For now, there's no point in using overclock settings all the time. I'm gonna save it on number one as our default. So uh, here you go, overclocking using uh, MSI Afterburner.